Thank you very much for the honor of this award. I'm deeply grateful to the committee and I am deeply honored. The 19th century American poet Walt Whitman ex emphasized expansiveness in his poetry. He used long lines and he wrote, I am large, I contain multitudes. That line to me characterizes this conference which spans countries. The line also characterizes what I was trying to accomplish in the research for the, which this prize was awarded. The research spans multiple subfields of quantum physics and multiple experimental platforms. In 2016, I was trying to unite an idea in non-equilibrium statistical mechanics, where people think about DNA strands and molecular motors, with an idea in high energy physics and condensed matter, or people think about information scrambling, a type of many-body entanglement, such as in Google's quantum supremacy experiment. I found myself forced to write down a mathematical object that looks bizarre. A friend told me that looks like a quasi-probability. Quasi-probabilities are like probabilities, but more quantum in certain ways. So I started studying this quasi-probability, which hadn't been examined much before. I had accidentally generalized the Kirkwood-Dirac quasi-probability distribution, which sounds horribly obscure. Kirkwood defined, defined this distribution in 1933, and Dirac defined it in 1945. Then most of quantum mechanics forgot about it for decades. It began experiencing a resurgence a few years ago. Experimentalists were measuring it to perform quantum state tomography in a new way, and it had applications in the foundations of quantum theory. I focused mostly on this generalized Kirkwood-Dirac distribution that I'd stumbled across, and it has led me all over quantum physics. I've found with collaborators applications to quantum thermodynamics, information scrambling, metrology, and measurement disturbance. It sounds odd, but doing theory has been useful for taking a Whitman-esque approach to quantum technology. A theorist isn't tied to any platform or subfield, but can work with them all. Let me share a slide. I've had the privilege of working with a number of wonderful collaborators. I don't have time to name them all, but they're in a list here on this slide. In particular, I would very much like to thank Justin Dressel and David Arvidsson Sugar for their camaraderie, enthusiasm, and openness. Also, thanks to the experimentalists who took the risk of trying out the protocols that fellow theorists and I proposed. I'm grateful to John Presco, my PhD supervisor, for encouraging me to think big, to be not just a specialist confined to one subfield, but a general theoretical physicist who crosses borders. Thanks to John, Peter Murch, Ephraim Steinberg, and Lincoln Carr for supporting my nomination. Thanks to Hossein Sadegpour and the Harvard Smithsonian Institute for Theoretical Atomic, Molecular, and Optical Physics for their support and the freedom to explore. Finally, thanks to my family, especially my husband, parents, and brother for their supports, role modeling, and understanding about how much I have to work. Walt Whitman wrote about looking upward at night and seeing systems of galaxies and stars. And all I see multiplied as high as I can cipher, edge but the rim of the farther systems. Our vision is bounded. Gazing across disciplines is difficult and risky, but it opens our horizons. Thank you to everybody who took a risk on me and with me.